Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. Funny you should say that. Well, you Over know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Hey, can Born I get a English. drink here? Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Buy bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. <coughs> Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming yeah. after us. You better stop right now.
trash. Got up. Damn, free trash. You up with that kid? That shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around. Hey! <laughs> you better stop right now! Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Good work. What now? 
we go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, far from real open country. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee you. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <clears throat> <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <clears throat> you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <clears throat> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. <coughs> well, what is up, YouTube? It's been a while since I posted one of these videos. Um, in Chapter 3, I think I made all the videos 6, so I didn't really talk through most of them. But uh, uh, Chapter 4 here now... Um, probably do a little bit of commentary over them, but, uh, not too much. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe for more. I also post, uh, Call of Duty videos, which is, uh, pretty much my main thing. So if you enjoy Call of Duty, please, uh, subscribe and hope you guys enjoy. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that did a very steep woman here. <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? 
Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. The thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. I don't know if I trust that guy. Let's go, boy. Ooh, taking a shit. Come on then. Yeah. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get Whoa. to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. I'm sure this is going to be super creepy. John, hurry up. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. There's a dog. I saw one. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Sorry, uh, I had a 
bit to drink. Our friend died. Curious, you know. They're still winning. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead. I hear something in there. Dead and code. And we'll bust the door in. You won't find my puppies watching. Pick the right night for it. Let's get after him. Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <laughs> Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. was gonna happen. <clears throat>
to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Get down. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Come on. Stay together. Get back to Dutch. Boy. I think we lost. That was a lot better than the first time trying it. Get this done. has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house <laughs> and us just simple country boys let's go we have a new camp set up jack you're gonna love it passing you sounds good all right let's get this boy back to his mother you sure you're okay son i'm fine papa bronte said you'd come for me I'm I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. 
We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun. What are you doing? And left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. <laughs>